I'm Hope McCall and welcome to Episode 9 of the Radio Control Show, sponsored by Hobbytown USA. An EDF that the model airplane news editors are really crazy about is the Exceed RC FA-18E Super Hornet from Nitro Planes. It's made of injection molded foam, so it's lightweight, but it still maintains the cool look of its full-scale brother. To catch the full review, check out the September issue of Model Airplane News. Bead lock rims work great. That is, if you know how to mount them upright. Let's check in with Kevin Hentmanski as he gives us a few pointers on how to mount a set of Proline switch tires to epic bead lock rims. Before you place the tire on the wheel, you want to go ahead and remove the foam insert because we have to make a little bit of a modification to make sure that the rubber has good contact with the bead lock wheel. If you leave the foam intact the way it is, it can get between the tire and the bead lock and allow the tire to slip off the rim. So what you want to do is basically cut a little bit of the corner off on the inside of each foam. You can watch the whole video on rccaraction.com forward slash PL switch. Going green is in, and hybrids are nothing new to the full-size automotive world. However, there's one car due out in 2010 that has close ties to RC. With its use of the lithium-ion batteries, the Chevy Volt is stepping away from the pack. In 2002, a professor at MIT and his team perfected the cell technology, which started the RC company A123. This is the same battery technology that's being used in the Chevy Volt. The Volt can travel 40 miles without using a drop of gas or expelling any harmful emissions. This is all due to the lithium ion cells that were put to the test in the RC before being used in the full-size world. LiPo batteries definitely put out more juice. To take advantage of the extra power, Team Associated has just released a line of high-voltage XP servos for 7.4 volt LiPo power. There are two options currently available from the A-Team, the more affordable nylon gear unit or the more durable metal gear version. Both servos put out 54 ounces of torque with a transit speed of 0.15. Now here's one expensive RC plane. This Concorde jet model costs around an unbelievable $25,000 to build and flies just like the real thing. The real turbine jet engines alone cost about $5,000 each. What do you think? If you had the money, would you get your own RC Concorde? Send us a tweet at twitter.com slash rcshow and tell us your thoughts. If the summer heat is really bumming you out, just think about heading to the slopes with your monster truck. This insane clip shows a series of monster trucks taking flight off cliffs, snowdrifts, and anything else the crew could find to jump. It's not often you see RC trucks in the snow, so this is definitely a video you need to check out. There's a brand new electric power system on the market. It's designed to work together to deliver power and performance for a full range of model airplane applications. The brushless Outrunner motors come in three sizes that provide up to 370 watts. There are six 3S 11.1 volt LiPo battery packs as well. Two ESCs are available for 20 and 30 amp current draws. Have you ever wanted to hit 100 foot tabletops at 100 miles per hour? Well, here's your chance. Go to rccaraction.com and enter to win a ride in the Traxxas Torque Pace Truck. The truck is a fully loaded race machine that will give you the ride of your life. To enter, simply compete with your Traxxas Slash or Slayer at one of the Torque Off-Road events. The winner will also receive a Pace Truck Edition Slash and tons of other cool gear. For more info, head to rccaraction.com and click on Forums. CKRC's latest upgrade is specifically for Losi's popular comp crawler. These heavy-duty CVD axles have been made by MIP to beef up the comp crawler's drivetrain. The upgrade kit is sold with two inner axles, two outer axles, two cross pins, two couplings, and set screws. For the competition-minded crawler, this kit is a must-have. Thanks again for joining us on the Radio Control Show. Remember to head to your local newsstand for the September issues of Model Airplane News and Radio Control Car Action. You can also check us out online at rccaraction.com and modelairplanenews.com for everything we covered in this week's show. I'm Hope McCall and we'll see you next time. Remember, you can get your hands on most of the cool products you see here on the show the same way we do by visiting your local Hobbytown USA. There's a brand new electric powered system on the market. I don't know. Model airplane, like, that's an S, right? It's designed to work together. Oh, I was getting excited. <laughs> so it's like, they're great. All right, ready?